Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 44.3, and today I want to get into backup and restore. This might take a very long time to actually record, and I might not have a whole lot to say about it though, because it's, um, it's a little bit of a process. It just takes a while. But if I hold Shift and Pad 13, I can come over into our utility menu, and you can see we've got a backup folder. And what this is going to do is it's going to take all of the projects. And as I showed in the previous video, I've got projects one through five. We actually don't need anything on project five right now. I think it's empty, but let's just for cleaning it up sake, we're just going to delete it. Uh, delete five, delete. All right, there we go. We're still on project one. We've got two, two, three, four. So again, if I go back, shift pad 13, go to utility, scroll over to backup. I can then say backup. It's going to ask me what slot we want. I've done a few other backups before I've done backups for one, two, three, and it's suggesting I do four as the next one. And what this is going to do is take every single project with all of the patterns and all of the samples. And it's going to write that out to the SD card. So if I just hit the button, we're just going to get started. And you can see it says project one. It's telling me how many samples it's done and um, what bank we're on. And again, this is just gonna take a while. Um, but the reason why you'd wanna do this is, let's say you wanted to start from a fresh slate, but you didn't, and you wanna be able to reload everything again in the future. Um, it would be a good exercise to go and export all of your or backup all of the content contents of the internal memory of your SP404 Mark II and write it out to the SD card. Um, similarly, you might have something that you want to take that project and restore it in the future. If you've got it on the SD card, you can then take and import it and bring it back in, and you'll have a complete working set of everything that you had from when you backed it up. Um, I don't know that I want to actually sit here and make you guys watch the full backup. I'll probably just let it go in the background and then probably, so it looks like it's probably the right opportunity to leave here. And then I'll show you how to do a um, restore in the next video and probably cut that one a little short as well. I mean, you can see it's now on project two and it's moving, but this is just going to take a while and I'm not going to torture you guys with it. Anyway, guys, if you just want to do a backup, again, shift pad 13 to get into the utility menu, cycle over to the backup menu, hit backup, and then pick the slot that you want to store to. You can do from, I believe, 1 to 99. So you can do an awful lot of backups. If you've maxed out the full memory available, uh, the 16 gigs, you're probably only going to fit a couple backups, but I don't think most people are doing that. You're probably doing some short one shots and other stuff. So you can probably fit... 40, 50, maybe even 100 backups on one single SD card. So anyway, let me know, guys, if this uh, helps you out. Take it easy. Keep making music. If it sounds good, it is good. And peace.